name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. In this beautiful summer day, let's join in spirit in giving glory to God. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. This prayer we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, 
to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. be with you. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day. He be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such things shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with the angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. You may be familiar with the old folk tale of a blacksmith who was really revered in his village for his hard work, his skill, and his generosity to the community. And the day came for him to die, and so God sent his angel to accompany the man's soul to the place prepared for him in heaven. But the man said to the angel, he said, uh, please let me stay for just a little longer. It's, har- it's planting time, and my neighbors really rely on me for help. The angel thought about it and said, that's, that's reasonable, okay. And so a few months later, the angel returned to bring this humble soul back to God. But now the blacksmith said, I don't want to appear to be ungrateful, but could I stay just a little longer? He said, a neighbor of mine is seriously ill and it's time for the harvest, and a number of us are trying to save his crops so his family won't live in destitute situation. And again, the angel said, okay, that's fine. And so it went, the angel came back and forth, and he always had an excuse that the angel thought was reasonable. But then the man grew old and tired, And in his prayer one night, he said, God, if you'd like to send your angel again, I'd be glad to come home now. So the angel appeared and the man said very humbly, if you still want me, take me. I'm ready to go to God's kingdom. And the angel looked at him and all the angel did was to laugh. And he said, where do you think you've been all these years? The blacksmith was already home. 
He was making his world part of God's kingdom. I think that all of us, all people, are challenged in the gospel to put aside the peripheral things in our lives and to begin to focus more on relationships that we have with, certainly with God, with family, with people, and to begin to put our efforts and our work in on that. And we can discover that we are already building here and now the kingdom of God that will call, God will call to us in the end. Let's stand and pray. Let us turn to the Lord in faithful prayer. That we, the Church of God, will not grow weary in our efforts to proclaim peace and justice for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that God's goodness will provide hope through the work of our hands for those who have lost their way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the gifts of compassion and mercy allow us to speak and act like God does. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our prayers and the compassionate response to the victims of the recent hurricanes and tropical storms continue for as long as need be. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will provide abundant help for all who suffer in body or spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead and for those who grieve for them, especially Kurt Johnson, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Marcella Marin, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you with confidence in prayer, for we pray now and always in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power. This prayer we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, 
For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In an act of spiritual communion for those who are not able to be here now. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. This prayer we ask, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thank you.